Добрый день. Distinguished colleagues, dear attendees, I now declare the session of the dissertation board for the uh, award of the candidate of sciences degrees um, uh, begun. We will be considering the uh, dissertation submitted by Anatoly Guryev uh, under the title uh, Tourism Organization Bankruptcy Prevention in Business um, uh, in Russian Business Law in the subject uh, 120003. I encourage the audience to switch off the uh, mobile phones. May I inform you that the procedure will be broadcast live on the website of uh, St. Petersburg uh, State University. Simultaneous interpretation into English will be provided. First of all, I would like to inform you that according to federal law issued on the 23rd of May 2016, on amendments to the provision, uh, to provision 4 of the federal law on science and research policy and technological policy, um, St. Petersburg State University and Moscow State University um, have been granted an exceptional title to independently award scientific titles, scientific degrees. At the same time, scientific degrees are awarded at our university only in the subjects and scientific areas contained in the scientific subjects register. Issued by the order of the Russian Ministry of Education. The resolution uh, of the PhD uh, and candidate degree or PhD awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University um, number 6821-1 is effective 5 of September the 1st, 2016. Uh, the um, present meeting in fulfillment of this resolution is a pilot event in the um, uh, life of the law faculty. It's the second uh, event of this type held in the law faculty of St. Petersburg State University. I would like to remind you that according to paragraph 17, section, uh, section 3 of the uh, rules of the PhD granting procedure in St. Petersburg State University, the dissertation council is considered uh, is not considered legitimate unless two-thirds or um, above of the appointed composition uh, are present, uh, but no less than four of um, the members. Today the uh, composition is five members. Four of the members are present. One of them is an international member who has joined us online. We can see and hear each other. Thus, the quorum is present. According to paragraph uh, 19, section 4 uh, of the Dissertation Council, the time limit for this meeting is 180 minutes. Sorry, 120 minutes. Um, the agenda is as follows. A brief report of the uh, chairperson on the documents submitted by the defendant in compliance with the requirements. Uh, concluded by question and answer session. Brief report of the defendant on the finding of the on the findings of the research. Um, the duration is 15 minutes maximum. Questions at, uh, as to the, uh, the defendant's report. Two minutes per question. The defendant's replies. The defendant's answers. Um, one and two minutes. Presentation of the report submitted. I will do it. Uh, the uh, members of the uh, board will take uh, turns to announce uh, um, their reviews. Uh, they will f uh, focus on their elaborate argumentation bef behind their assessment. They will offer questions and suggestions um, to the defendant. Uh, to the defendant, there will be the general as with 15 minutes allocated per each of the members. Um, 
the uh, general commentaries of the defendant addressed to the members of the board. There will be an open discussion and statements by the members of the audience who are not members of the dissertation council. Uh, they will provide a brief overview um, of the um, argumentation uh, directly related to the subject of the research. All willing to participate to take flow should register, uh, should enter their names on the registration list. Um, please introduce yourselves before delivering your statements and use the microphone provided. Uh, the defendants reply to statements uh, on the part of the audience who are not members of the dissertation council. Five minutes maximum. Um, the research supervisor will uh, take three minutes to uh, make a statement on the uh, research conducted. A five minute break will then be announced for open uh, voting on awarding the defendant with the um, academic degree sought. The discussion between the members of the dissertation council will not be broadcast online. The voting will be um, uh, open. Point 10, close 10 of the agenda. Um, the, uh, count of, uh, uh, the counting of voting and registration of the voting results um, uh, will be held. Um, and then uh, a concluding statement on um, either pass or fail will be made and a concluding statement by the defendant um, um, uh, lasting two minutes maximum will be presented. Um, this is our agenda. And I would like to... Um, uh, in consistence with uh, the first uh, close, the first item on our agenda, I would like to make a brief refo a report on the dissertation. The dissertation by Anatoly Guriev under the title uh, "Bankruptcy Prevention: uh, um, Tourism Organization Bankruptcy Prevention in uh, Russian Business Law." Uh, in the specialization civil law, business law, family law, and private international law. Uh, was approved for defense under uh, the uh, resolution 2403-1 dated March uh, the 23rd, 2017, issued by the director of St. Petersburg State University Defense Supervision Center. The comp uh, position of the uh, dissertation board council was approved under resolutions uh, 273-1 dated January the 31st, um, uh, 2017 and resolution 4853/1 dated May the 12th, uh, 2017, issued by the director of St. Petersburg State University Defense Supervision. Uh, the composition is as follows: Oleg Gordov, Doctor of Law, Professor of the Department of Business Law, St. Petersburg State University. That is me, Chairman of the Board. Uh, Papantopol of Vladimir, uh, Doctor of Law, Chairman of the Business Law Department, St. Petersburg State University. Uh, he's seated uh, right next to me, on my right. Olga Makarova, Doctor of Law, uh, Associate Professor, Docent, uh, Business Law Department, St. Petersburg State University. Uh, Gadis Kachiev, Doctor of Law, Judge of the Constitutional Court of the Russian Federation, uh, who is absent. Um, the, uh, his review has been submitted in writing and is present in, the, uh, in our file, in our documents, in our records. Um, finally, uh, Rahim Sada Mahmoud Gadir, Doctor of Law, Professor, Director of the National Presidential uh, Legislation Center, uh, Republic of Tajikistan. Uh, he has joined us online. The defendant submitted the following documents to the supervision center, including his application signed by, by the defendant, uh, addressed to the rector of St. Petersburg State University, a degree certificate 
Magna cum laude. Issued by the um, Academy, uh, the Academy of um, uh, the Presidential Academy of Economy. So, report by the research supervisor. Signed by uh, professor, uh, professor of Civil Law. Subjects Volgograd branch of the Russian Academy of Economy, uh, Dr. Goncharova. A list of publications um, on the subject of the dissertation. There are many, there are 17. Eight of them. Nine even were published in uh, journals recommended by the Higher Attestation Commission of Russia. There is a monograph um, and a number of um, other research publications. Um, a, uh, a postgraduate study certificate issued in the name of Anatoly Guriev. Uh, who completed a postgraduate course uh, in the Volgograd branch of the Russian Academy of um, Economy. Uh, the, uh, the certificate also names, um, specifies the um, examinations, uh, qualification examinations um, taken by the defendant, English, um, uh, excellent history, uh, history, uh, good, uh, international and private law, uh, family law, civil law, excellent. The applicant's um, article uh, on uh, bankruptcy uh, prevention has been accepted for publication in the uh, Journal of the um, um, Volgograd Department of the Rus uh, Russian uh, Academy of Economy. Um, the dissertation in Russian and English. Dissertation conclusion prepared, uh, drafted by the um, uh, Volgograd Department of the Russian Academy of Economy, Presidential Academy of Economy, signed by the head of the Department of the uh, um, uh, Department of uh, Civil Law, candidate of law, Dosent Bautenev. There is another um, a document, um, an act about the implementation of um, findings. And uh, there is, a, uh, there is a, uh, an employment certificate um, that is provided. These are the documents that have been submitted by the defendant. All of these documents comply with provision 12, section 3, PhD award procedure at St. Petersburg State University. After this brief introduction, I would like to, to give the floor to the defendant, Mr. Guriev, you're welcome. Thank you very much, distinguished chair, distinguished member of the dissertation board, distinguished audience. The travel companies are doing risky business over the last years. These risks are related to both travel companies and third parties engaged into legal relations with them. Therefore, violations and customer dissatisfaction is a very important factor that promotes legal measures implemented by the government in order to prevent the predicaments. 
in uh, travel business. These circumstances identify the scope of my research and its utility. The aim of my research is to comprehensively analyze legal measures in order to prevent bankruptcy of travel companies as well as to establish measures to uh, ensure corporate rebound and prevent litigation. To this end, I analyzed uh, social relations and developed legal mechanisms to rebound insolvency in order to stabilize business and to protect the rights of both consumers and other uh, creditors as well as travel companies. The findings of my dissertation come in two groups. The first group is related to the investigation into preventive measures. Here I can note that first a travel company is an entity that is engaged into business and has to ensure implementation of constitutional rights of citizens for recreation. Bankruptcy of a travel company entails dramatic social predicaments. To this end, we need specific legal instruments to ensure bankruptcy prevention measures and to ensure that travel companies are able to rebound. Second, bankruptcy prevention of a travel company is a set of preventive measures implemented by both the travel company, its uh, finders, and creditors in order to prevent bankruptcy and to oust out any legal basis for litigation. Corporate rebound means that the balance is restored and the claims of creditors are satisfied in order to fulfill all the liabilities and payments. The objective of bankruptcy prevention measures is to prevent insolvency, to ensure corporate rebound, and efficient business in the future. All these measures are jointly ultimately target bankruptcy prevent pre prevention. However, preventive measures can be implemented also uh, towards a solvent legal entity. Third, the dissertation proposes an approach to prevent bankruptcy that includes six components. Each of them is practical. First is the normative basis, second law implementation and subjects of law implementation, next consumers of travel services, mechanism of uh, fulfillment of obligations by the travel company, and lastly remedy measures and travel companies. So. The next group of uh, the findings is related to the interests of businesses and potential party involved into this situation. First, the interests of business and the legal potential of prevention measures implemented by counter agents are a comprehensive system that includes many jointly related and interlinked components. This system is solid and it is vested into the interest of business to render the entity solvent 
as well as an associated instrument to settle debts. Implementation of legal instruments is able to ensure positive results provided that the approach is indeed comprehensive. Despite the customer interest to render a travel company solvent, the effective Russian legislation does not allow consumers to interfere actively. My suggestion is to establish a public company, a travel insurance agency, so that to provide consumers with a tool to interfere. Third, the control of business of travel companies should be implemented as a set of stages. First, continuous reporting into the self-regulated organization. The analysis of this report presented to the uh, self-regulatory body. Third, timely reaction to the first signs of bankruptcy, which means that the organization has to inform a relevant association of travel companies. So what we have is that a travel company that operates domestic travel would not inform the International Association on its bankruptcy. And lastly, the authorities issue a decree on how to restore the company solvency. The third group of results looks into the comprehensive legal regime. The monitoring procedure has been elaborated to identify bankruptcy risks as stipulated by Federal Law 127 on bankruptcy in and insolvency. Monitoring measures look at the fluctuation of solvency indicators which implies the following parameters. The monthly balance indicators. It is also important that the financial solvency should be no less than one and over. In Appendix B, May I show how to calculate this indicator? Next, reorganization of an insolvent travel company is an effective measure to prevent bankruptcy. Merges or acquisitions have to be launched in case other measures fail. The key objective here, well, apart from remedy measures, is compliance with law and respect of rights. The specific procedure on how to regulate relations is offered. It is stipulated in paragraph 3.3. And lastly, the third group of results refers to a comprehensive legal regime that includes a corporate hierarchy of subjects that monitors bankruptcy risks, terms and tools of bankruptcy prevention without engaging third-party creditors. And lastly, 
merge or acquisition as a bankruptcy prevention measure. Bankruptcy prevention as a challenge is a very relevant matter. A solution to this challenge would allow us to promote legal practices. I believe that the utility of my findings is indeed high and it will be demanded by businesses. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions to the defendant? Does the audience have any questions to the defendant? Well, Mr. Gulyev, my name is Professor Makarova. The title of your dissertation is Travel Company Bankruptcy Prevention. So you have two entities here, a travel company or a travel agent and a travel operator. What does it mean, travel company? Is it your own terminology? The legislator provides us with the most general notion, travel company. There are two types of travel companies, travel agents and travel operators. Travel operators are legal entities, travel agents could be both legal entities or they may also operate without a legal entity, so this means individual entrepreneurship. So nothing is new here. Travel company is what law has, it is vested in law. In the introduction to my dissertation, I highlighted that in my dissertation I look at bankruptcy prevention measures of a travel operator only. Therefore, such a substitution of a travel operator by a travel company does not distort the, my findings. Other questions to the defendant? Well, that's all. That's all for our questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Gulyev. And we proceed on according to the rule of procedure. As I said, the dissertation has yielded a number of external reviews. We also have the conclusion of the organization where the dissertation was done, was drafted. All of these documents are published on the uh, official website of St. Petersburg State University. So if you would like to look at the reports in detail, so you are welcome to visit the website. As for me, I will be short in reading out the reports. So this is the report of the Volgograd uh, office of the uh, RANEPA. This report is signed by the director of the Volgograd office, Mr. Tumensov. Mr. Gurdjieff was a full-time postgraduate under the relevant subject area as of September 2015 until now. Mr. Gulyev is a lecturer of the Civil Law Department. In 2013, Anatoly graduated from the univers from the uh, relevant faculty of RANEPA in his postgraduate studies, he successfully passed his postgraduate exams. Mr. Goncharov, the supervisor, professor of civil law uh, department of the Volgograd office of Renepa, is doctor of econ econ 
Economy and Doctor of Law. The title of the dissertation was approved in the following phrasing travel companies prevention bankruptcy prevention measures in 2013 which is stipulated in protocol 4 the report also refers to the structure of the dissertation there is a number of findings there are original findings that are identical to the findings presented for defense today and they have been announced today by the defendant. The final paragraph of the report refers to the evidence basis The report provides a very high assessment of the research, elaborating on the methods, general, general me methods, and a litany of other me methods. As for the originality of the research, the report stipulates that the originality of the research is identified by the title of the research. It is a first publication that analyzes bankruptcy prevention measures for travel companies from a legal perspective for the first time. It expands on the legal grounds of bankruptcy prevention measures and develops a comprehensive mechanism to implement these measures and to enhance the effective Russian le legislation. Moreover, the defendant also offers solutions to interdisciplinary problems. The utility of the findings can be implemented in travel business and in law drafting processes. The value of the research is that the defendant articulated bankruptcy prevention measures in greater detail, thus bridging the gap that existed in Russian law and enhancing the legislative landscape of bankruptcy prevention. This dissertation has been reviewed and discussed at the Civil Law Department of the Volgograd Office of RANEPA and the key findings were presented for peer review of at international, regional, all Russian conferences. The defendant has published 14 papers, including five papers included in the register of journals of the um, Higher Attestation Commission. The dissertation is in compliance with the relevant subject area 120003 Civil Law, Business Law, Family Law and the conclusion is that This dissertation can be presented for defense to be awarded a PhD degree. This report was adopted 
at the meeting of the Department of Civil Law. But this is the first document. The dissertation board was presented with reports from all the five members of the dissertation board as well as two external uh, reports. One of them from Mr. Potapinko, Doctor of Law, Head of Civil Process and International Law Department of the Kuban State University. May I reiterate that this report is published online on the official website of St. Petersburg State University. Therefore, may I read out only the key issues. The topic of the research is indeed relevant. As Kuskov noted, travel companies and their business is one of the most complicated issues in law due to the very specific issues of relations design and implementation, then the reviewer expands on how complicated the problem is and agrees with the defendant that until now, legislative activities of authorities only targeted the predicaments of travel company insolvencies without looking into preventive measures. Well, this is a flaw indeed, both in terms of the legislation broadly as well as the academia. Then the reviewer says that Mr. Guliev was very creative. He's a creative scholar, an investigator of his own kind. The dissertation is a groundbreaking research to draft bankruptcy preventive measures in this area. The structure of the dissertation is comprehensive and is tailored to all the key findings. Then the reviewer analyzes specific passages in the dissertation, the introduction, the chapters, and conclusion. And finally, as any report would have it, the author says that apart from some specific provisions and key findings, the dissertation is not exempt of some criticisms. Page 77, 78, the defendant looks into the principles of tourist accommodation, and here it is not clear whether those principles are original or are they borrowed from other sources. If those are original, then it would be beneficial to include them into findings for defense. The first finding for defense should be the originality of research, but here it is not clear what this originality is about. The defendant writes that a travel company is an entity that ensures successful implementation of constitutional right of citizens for recreation, whereas bankruptcy entails large-scale predicaments to all kinds of consumers. Well, this, but however, this is obvious, so it should not be put for defense. The third finding is implementation of a code 
that would include bankruptcy preventive measures. And therefore, my question, how would the provisions of this code will be adjusted to the federal law on bankruptcy and federal law on civil interactions. Therefore, the necessity of such a code is a matter of doubt. Well, these recommendations do not invalidate the the findings. The conclusion of the report is that the dissertation submitted by Mr. Guliev is in compliance with the requirements to PhD award procedure as well as to PhD award procedure in St. Petersburg State University, whereas its author, Mr. Guliev, deserves to be awarded the aspired degree of the candidate of law in the relevant subject area, signed by Chair of the Civil Processes and International Law of Kuban State University. The next report came from Madam Vanina, docent, PhD in law. The report is positive. The author says that tourism is highly relevant for the economy of many countries. Since 2014, both large and smaller travel companies started to cease operation. And therefore, we may say that bankruptcy prevention of tourist operators and companies is highly relevant for state policies. Therefore, the dissertation is relevant, the topic is relevant, and it is able to provide solutions to contemporary challenges. Well, then, the, a short analysis of the contents. The author identifies a number of disputable issues. First, it is very difficult to agree with the author in saying that founders are the uh, internal creditors of the travel operator. So this means this would rather imply that they are debtors. Founders, stakeholders, can claim their share only in case they are quitting from the uh, society. Second, the position of the author is not well justified. Uh, in relation to reorganization. Page 120. Why is it exactly merge or, or acquisition that should be uh, implemented here? Especially if we see that in case of acquisition, it would be impossible to prevent bankruptcy. Third, bankruptcy prevention measures are looked into very well, but the bankruptcy prevention measures uh, towards the travel agent are not covered. So these 
recommendations are debatable and they do not invalidate the general high assessment of the research. So the general outcome, lastly, is that the dissertation is in compliance with the requirements to this type of research, whereas its author deserves to be granted the aspired PhD degree in family law, civil law, business law, and international law. Next report was presented by the honorary lawyer of Russian Federation, Professor Belich. Um, Mr. Belich points out that the um, work is highly relevant uh, for the provisions of the um, theory of um, um, business and bankruptcy prevention, insolvency prevention. Dr. Billick also points out that there arises an, um, uh, a necessity to investigate into the uh, into this problem and to implement special regulations to prevent bank uh, bankruptcy in order to improve business operations of tourism organizations and um, Anatoly Guriev's uh, research, uh, Anatoly Guriev's study is um, a major step in this direction. He analyzes the, uh, uh, the uh, key premises and conclusions of the chapters and identify some of the most interesting provisions, some of the most interesting um, aspects of the work. The most important part of the review is some criticism that we also have here. There are several such aspects. Well, the research is based on law and legal practices in travel industry, however, the law does not limit travel providers to legal entities only. Second, the agreement between a travel company and a hotel is said to be the corporate agreement. Here, technical terminology is applied which contradicts the active effective law. See Article 67.2 of the Civil Code. Uh, what contradicts the acting legislation is the defendant's suggestion to introduce obligatory membership in a self-regulated organization with the responsibility to audit travel companies' activities. Another suggestion is to establish a vertical mechanism to monitor travel companies. These comments are no more than a recommendation and do not invalidate the research. The conclusions of the dissertation are published in peer-reviewed journals, including the list of the Higher Attestation Commission in the Russian Federation, the general takeaway is that the originality and validity of the research uh, by Mr. Guliev, as well as the obtained findings, allow us to claim that it is a comprehensive and independent research that complies with the requirements to this type of papers defendant mr guliev 
deserves to be granted the aspired degree of uh, PhD in law in the relevant subject field. So I have finished declaring all the external reports. And let us now proceed on to the report of the chairman as well as other members of the dissertation board. All our reports are available on the official website of St. Petersburg State University. In my report, I note that the dissertation is devoted to a comprehensive analysis of legal norms as well as bankruptcy prevention measures. Then I give an overview of the dissertation. The author has successfully managed to structure the dissertation and is well versed in legal language. Then I'll provide a very short analysis of the contents. Then I identify the findings that can be supported. For example, bankruptcy prevention is a guarantee of rights of both creditors and tourists, and it has a beneficial influence on Russian investment climate. It would enhance it. Notably, the conclusion that to monitor the activities of travel companies as well as reimbursements should be done by way of a travel insurance agency. To this end, the author suggests to adopt a federal law on travel insurance. Stipulating the establishment of such an agency. However, the dissertation cannot be deemed relevant due to the following causes. Absence of theoretical and legal problems. to which the uh, bankruptcy prevention would be relevant and which would require a specific research. Second, bankruptcy prevention as a term in the author's understanding is a set of preventive measures implemented by travel companies and participants to this process to ensure absence of first signs of bankruptcy is too vague and could be applied to all sorts of commercial organizations apart from travel companies. The, the evidential basis behind every finding is doubtful because the Operation of travel companies cannot be deemed as a universal legal tool that would include the participants, the counter agent, agents, the founders, and the rule of the Chapter 2 of the Federal Law on Bankruptcy does not exclude the authorization to implement some specific measures that would be different from the measures that support the creditor in his ability to satisfy the claims of the creditors. The conclusion that 
reorganization of an unpaying travel company and its acquisition is an effective preventive measure, point eight, is just a weak resort and it cannot be deemed as a solid finding. The novelty and independence of the research is proved by absence of academic borrowings and referrals to independent findings, which proves that the research is indeed original. However, the dissertation does not contain a solution to the scientific problem and is irrelevant for business law as well as the development of Russia in general. The dissertation does not comply with the requirements stipulated by the PhD defense procedure and the defendant does not deserve to be awarded the aspired PhD degree in the relevant subject area. This is my conclusion. The next conclusion, the next report is by you. Unfortunately, I must state that uh, my review is negative. That doesn't mean to say that the dissertation submitted by Anatoly Guryev does not contain um, any um, um, positive, positive provisions and premises. Of course, um, much work has been conducted, and we do see that this work is based on numerous publications. The author is indeed competent in the subject, so uh, the work is indeed independent. It's really creative. However, Even when it comes to master students or uh, bachelor students, we require independence and creativity. However, the, uh, the question is, in the scale um, of the goals, objectives, relevance, novelty, and reliability of conclusions, however, uh, I'm afraid this level, these requirements have not been met. The subject of the dissertation is, of course, highly relevant, and I would like to support uh, the um, organization and um, uh, Mr. Guryev himself that the topic is indeed relevant. Bankruptcy prevention is a major task. However, are there any um, special aspects uh, relating to bankruptcy prevention depending on the type of the organization? If we talk about financial organizations, um, uh, we would say yes, there are, um, and they are reflected, they are mirrored in the law. Um, you it is possible to um, talk of special aspects of, say, strategic organizations or the natural monopolies. However, is it is it possible uh, to talk about bankruptcy prevention with respect to tourism organizations specifically? I would say there aren't. And uh, I'm afraid um, this is a position shared by many reviewers. 
would like to stress that we uh, we must be aware of one thing: bankruptcy and the market economy is not exactly a normal phenomenon, but there is nothing extraordinary about it. One shouldn't exaggerate its uh, uh, the, the tragicality of the situation. One cannot eliminate bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is a sign of market economy. As long as market economy exists, there will be bankruptcy and bankrupts. If you look at the statistics uh, for the uh, economically developed countries, um, there is a normal life cycle of business organizations which um, um, may be established and then cease to function by nature of their activity. The things that I um, strongly disagree with is that the author of the dissertation, Mr. Anatoly Guryev, suggests a system of public measures. He builds um, a huge infrastructure made up of uh, different um, agencies, including uh, SROs, insurance agencies, Ross Tourism, uh, the compulsory membership, uh, SRO membership, the mandatory character, the pressure uh, to statutorize um, obligations uh, to um, run schedules, to run estimates. These are important aspects indeed. However, these aspects need to be looked after by organizations themselves. Organizations are bearing risks. Businessmen bear, do bear risks in connection with their business activities. Risk is one of the key signs, one of the key markers of uh, entrepreneurial activities so to mitigate the risks. Uh, of course, uh, it is necessary to um, conduct the relevant recording, reporting, accounting, but uh, does it require uh, does it require any standard norms? And uh, I would understand there is a need in such norms for uh, banks with huge clientele, uh, with um, huge risks, but um, this isn't the case for tourist organizations. You're talking about the constitutional right to recreation. This is uh, the, um, the only argument. This is the only argument that uh, made you think that for uh, that tourist organizations might must provide for um, a system of uh, risk alleviation and bankruptcy prevention. This is something I cannot accept. Um, we have already uh, mentioned some critique uh, with respect to the tourism code. Here, you must be um, aware of what a code is. What, what kind of thing uh, is a code? A code is a normative act that contains norms of um, one and the same type where general and specific provisions can be identified. However, you are talking about a comprehensive nature of the measures that you are suggesting. You. Uh, don't uh, you fa fail to provide justification for the structure of the code, for the content of the code? Uh, yet this is uh, one of the key premises that you um, um, have submitted for defence. In my review, um, I criticise um, all of the nine uh, premises that you have uh, submitted for defence. They give some uh, grounds for criticism to a smaller or uh, larger degree. Uh, because most of them are unjustified, they do not contain any scientific novelty. For example, you have decided to define the category of, uh, to, to define bankruptcy prevention and solvency recovery as a category. However, this task hasn't been, uh, hasn't been resolved. Uh, you are providing tautological definitions to these concepts uh, without any specific, uh, specifically legal content. I would like to stress yet again. I won't focus on the details. Maybe just one more comment. You mentioned that 
Membership in uh, SROs need to be need to be obligatory, and it needs to be statutorized. One of the measures for bankruptcy prevention, you write, is reorganization in the form of uh, merger or acquisition takeover uh, on the basis of an agreement. How how is that possible? It's a contradiction in terms. If you talk about compulsory membership. If you were uh, uh, if you were guided by the model of credit organizations, uh, this measure uh, this measure is compulsory. However, the takeover uh, is also compulsory based on the decision of the central bank of the Russian Federation. Uh, however, for our case, this is not relevant. Um, I won't focus on the criteria, even though they are not satisfactory. And uh, I would like to specify that on the whole, I cannot agree with. Um, I cannot agree to um, accept this work uh, as uh, um, qualifying work meeting the requirements of a PhD thesis. In my opinion, it does not contain uh, a resolution of uh, any specific scientific task relevant to, uh, to uh, civil law and to business law in Russia. Thank you, Vladimir. I would like to give the floor to um, our next uh, member, Makarova Olga. Uh, Olga, you, you now have the floor. Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to point out the uh, relevance of the uh, subject of the dissertation. Of course, it's highly relevant. Well, in my report, I note that despite its relevance, the research is superficial, and I will explain why because the defendant concentrates on a whole range of issues that are not related to this topic. They are beyond the topic, and therefore this makes an impression that the research is so scattered. It is not finite and therefore superficial, not deep. What wonders me is the very phrasing of the title bankruptcy prevention in business law well I think that the title is not the phrasing of the title is inaccurate as for the evidence basis of the findings well as I said the defendant is covering an enormous range of issues and therefore logics is missing unity is missing Therefore, the objectives have not been delivered upon. For example, the first chapter is titled Legal Grounds for Bank Bankruptcy Prevention. Paragraph 1, travel company is a specific entity of business law in terms of bankruptcy prevention. But in the course of reading, I, I'm still at a loss as to what a travel company is, what are these requirements or what are these requirements about? How can we speak about bankruptcy prevention without being able to identify what prevention is and what measures does it imply? Therefore, I would suggest a different phrasing as tools or ways of bankruptcy prevention. And may I again repeat what my colleagues have already said. The first finding describing the, the status of a travel company and describing its operation I do not see what's the originality, what's the novelty here. Second, differentiation, bankruptcy prevention and corporate rebound. Those two categories are split very well in Russian law. The third finding, preventive state regulation to prevent bankruptcy. But it's unclear what that means.
in some passages wordings are elusive as Vladimir Belich noted justly here we imply both commercial organizations as well as other organizations page 39 joint stock company law ensures rights and obligations of a joint stock company and its obligations are as follows and those are listed down it is unclear what obligations what liabilities in terms of bankruptcy prevention are we talking about what are the liabilities of an in, of an independent entrepreneur what are the liabilities of a legal entity the same is true about the passage on page 42 it would be better if you have analyzed the legal provisions related to property to their contributions to property to the company property where you would stipulate that these contributions are necessary to ensure corporate rebound in case of insolvency page 47 as well as other pages refer to normative acts and regulations that are void well if those are void why are you referring to them please do comment and page 104 108 where we have such a notion as a public organization or an attempt to introduce such a phrase referring to associations of travel companies I think that here the defendant blends together commercial and non-commercial organizations So well, these are just the most important matters of criticism and therefore my conclusion the objective and the argumentation of the research are inadequate the defendant failed to deliver on the objectives and has not solved the problem and therefore this dissertation cannot be deemed as a scholarly publication and it, it does not comply to the PhD awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University thank you I would like to uh, give the floor to uh, Gadir Rahim Sadar, uh, Doctor of Law, Professor. Uh, is there any connection with Tajikistan? Tajikistan, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, you, uh, you now have the floor. You can present your review. Thank you, esteemed chairperson and members of the dissertation council. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude for selecting me as a member of this dissertation council and for the honor of being able to present as an opponent um, for the uh, dissertation of Anatoly Goryev. Uh, if you allow, I will now proceed to announce my reviews. Uh, the first page development um, characterizing modern society uh, affects tourism as an important sphere of social activity. Tourism organizations conduct business operations and implement the citizens' constitutional right for recreation. However, because of bankruptcies, a number of tourist organizations 
sometimes fail to um, enforce these rights. In connection with this, um, preventing insolvency of tourism organization is an important guarantee um, of rights and legal interests of both tourists and uh, creditors of tourism organizations. So the legal mechanisms uh, for preventing bankruptcy uh, among tourism organizations uh, in order to ensure that Russian citizens may uh, implement and use their constitutional rights is highly relevant. So the uh, dissertation tourism organization bankruptcy prevention in uh, Russia uh, can be regarded as uh, having significant theoretical and practical interest, as being of significant interest. The, uh, uh, the uh, research focuses on uh, issues of bankruptcy uh, prevention of tourism organizations under market economy. It should be noted that the author of the dissertation clearly defines the uh, goals and objectives of the uh, dissertation research. The dissertation is clearly structured. The um, author considers issues of bankruptcy uh, prevention among tourism organizations. Uh, paying particular attention to the legal framework, to the legal content of the concepts um, of uh, solvency and bankruptcy prevention and solvency restoration, recovery. Uh, the, the legal regime, including issues of bankruptcy monitoring, and take over as a means of bankruptcy prevention um, are among the issues considered in the dissertation. On the whole, the um, novelty of the dissertation is determined by the uh, conclusions and premises that the author of the dissertation has submitted for defense. A tourism organization is defined as a um, business entity implementing uh, the citizens' constitutional right to recreation. As a tourism company, uh, tourism organization bankruptcy entails uh, drastic, dramatic consequences for um, customers. It is suggested uh, that uh, measures should be taken to ensure financial uh, solvency of tourism organizations. Um, Tourism organizations uh, uh, so um, uh, tourism um, operators um, in, uh, in the interest of prevent uh, preventing uh, uh, preventing bankruptcy of tourism um, operations as uh, the as uh, the author has defined as uh, the uh, interdependence and uh, uh, and links between uh, the categories of uh, bankruptcy prevention and um, solvency recovery second the uh, the author argues that uh, business interests and um, legal issues of bankruptcy prevention create a system, um, uh, a system uh, where separate components um, are interrelated and linked with causative, uh, causative and consecutive links. Um, this ensures uh, uh, the uh, this means that uh, positive outcomes of bankruptcy prevention um, rest on the depend on the application of uh, comprehensive approaches. Um, so, however, the um, active uh, Russian legislation uh, frequently um, does not um, allow, does not enable customers to uh, to interfere in processes related to um, solvency restoration and bankruptcy prevention. One should agree 
uh, with uh, the suggestion that uh, the uh, insolvent tour um, operator may be taken over um, or should be taken over by um, uh, a more uh, successful uh, tourism um, operator as part of the uh, measures aimed at um, bankruptcy prevention and solvency recovery. Um, the uh, insolvent, uh, the insolvent uh, um, tour operator, uh, um, uh, the, 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 the author of the dissertation makes a number of, of, um, of uh, suggestions uh, to amend the legislation of the Russian Federation, for example. Um, uh, Amendments should be made to uh, to the uh, to Chapter uh, Seven of the Federal Law on Tourism Activities in the Russian Federation, uh, specifying the minimal uh, size of the uh, Emergency Reserve Fund, um, uh, which has to be. Uh, uh, which has to be uh, increased to 15% of the authorized capital, of the nominal capital. Thus, the, the uh, dissertation uh, shows that uh, the uh, work uh, is indeed a theoretical um, study of a creative nature uh, aimed at resolving practical uh, practical issues of reality and providing augmented uh, responses to uh, many of these answers, uh, many of these questions. Um, further improvement of Russian uh, Federation law uh, is uh, required in the area of tourist activities. On the whole, uh, the uh, dissertation can be characterized positively. However, as any creative work, uh, it does contain some debatable provisions. Number one, in the first provision, the, um, the author makes a conclusion that tourism organizations are um, uh, business operators uh, implementing the constitutional right to recreation. Um, this definition uh, is um, widely known, so there was no need to submit uh, this definition as a premise for defense. In the bankruptcy uh, law, um, it's bankruptcy um, law, as the uh, author says, um, d uh, does not uh, fails to meet the specified goals because uh, the uh, the interests of the uh, of the creditors um, are um, um, must be uh, indemnif uh, indemnified uh, in the uh, third rank in the third position. So uh, um, uh, the uh, the author suggests that the priority as uh, the priority should be given to consumers of tourism products. However, the author uh, fails to argument uh, his opinion. Moreover, he fails to specify how this can be implemented, how this measure can be implemented in practice. Um, however, to implement uh, this measure, uh, um, uh, amendments to the civil code of the Russian Federation are needed. To conclude, uh, uh, to uh, for, for um, timely information of uh, insolvency um, among Russian tourism operators, the author suggests uh, creating um, creating a, a, a code including uh, the complex of measures uh, aimed at bankruptcy prevention and solvency recovery um, of tourism organizations. However, in our opinion, uh, the development uh, of this code uh, would be unnecessary. Uh, the uh, tourism code, uh, the tourism uh, code must um, uh, must be uh, justified um, uh, in terms of uh, content and structure. It should have been done in the dissertation. Uh, it's also debatable uh, uh, the, the suggestion um, to develop the regulations for uh, governmental and public control over uh, entrepreneurial activity of the um, uh, operators and to uh, including uh, statutorization um, conducted as um, as a number uh, uh, conducted uh, as a number of consecutive stages. 
uh, this regulation might arise in creating new administrative barriers to uh, entrepreneurship in tourism. The um, drawbacks, however, do not invalidate the, um, the scientific and practical value of the dissertation. The dissertation, um, uh, the uh, conclusions to the dissertation uh, enable to, um, uh, to um, uh, judge that the goals and objectives of the dissertation have been completed. The dissertation, I may conclude that it is the dissertation of Anato Liguriev is an independent, completed, qualified, uh, qualifying work, uh, uh, and uh, that it adequately shows the contribution of the author to the science of law, uh, and that it meets the requirements um, uh, requirements of the regulations uh, on the award of PhD degrees. So Anatoly Guriev uh, merits the PhD uh, degree in the subject uh, 120003 uh, in civil law, business law, family law, private international law. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, dear chairperson. Uh, we have uh, just one review left by uh, Mr. Gadis Gajiev, uh, judge of the Constitutional Court. Um, may I um, outline the key provisions of, um, uh, of this uh, review? The topic is relevant. It is devoted to bankruptcy prevention measures for travel companies. It is relevant both in terms of law and in terms of uh, economy. The author is, uh, has adopted the traditional legal methodology, but what the author says about the civil code is uh, really uh, really causes suspicion because it, it sounds indeed thoughtless. The ideas that the author puts forward are not original. The very notion of bankruptcy prevention is superfluous and it has no relevance, legal or economic and is not doing any attempts to prove his findings from conventional positions. So it creates an impression that those are tourists who have to implement bankruptcy prevention measures, which sounds ridiculous. There are mistakes in bibliography. And therefore, my conclusion is that the dissertation requires further editing so as to become a solid and valid research and to be able to develop a practical approach in solving various issues in constitutional rights. I should, however, state that Mr. Gurdjieff has done enormous job so we have finished with declaring the report. May I now give the floor to the defendant and to provide general comments. Please be short, because we are going to have a next defense in this very room. So be short. Make it short and simple. Distinguished Mr. Gorodov, may I extend my pardon if I extend the time limit. I have many, uh, many things to respond, and I would like to respond to all of them. First and foremost, may I extend my appreciation to the external reviewers for their positive responses. I believe that they are here with me and they will be satisfied with my responses. 
May I provide my first response to Mr. Bilich? The first recommendation is that I look at travel companies that are legal entities or individual entrepreneurs. Well, travel companies may operate in any legal form. However, my dissertation looks at the issues of acquisition in terms of legal entities that are joint stock companies limited or just joint stock companies. And this conclusion is proved by the information contained in the Federal Travel Company Register. As for specific terminology, corporate uh, agreement included, well, a corporate agreement before the Civil uh, Code of Russian Federation has been amended was understood as an agreement between parties when one party enjoys services of the other party and is provided with such services. Therefore, we have to distinguish between these two types of agreements. And this is what is mentioned on page 79 in the reference. Next, the reviewer doubts the reason behind having a self-organization body. Well, may you disagree? Such organizations are helpful in all kinds of activities, audit, construction, management and monitoring. Therefore, I think that the activities of tourism organizations are equally relevant. Next. Criticism by Mr. Potapinka. Pages 78-79 refer to the interaction principles between the organization and the product. Well, here the reviewer says that these principles are unclear. These principles are not original. They are well known. And to this end, I refer to a website of hotel business, but I have changed some phrasings and have disclosed the contents of these principles in a different way. Therefore, this criticism does not comply with the objectives of my research. As for the originality of the findings, well, my first conclusion is indeed original because, because until 2013, neither papers nor law mentioned the fact that the travel operator is responsible for social functions as well. This was something that was beyond law. The reviewer knows all too well that legislators were focused on bankruptcy elimination, whereas bankruptcy prevention was beyond the scope, as well as relevant preventive measures to ensure corporate rebound. Well, I will refer to this provision once again. I'm sorry, Mr. Guriev. 
you should not provide elaborate comments and an elaborate answer. Just please comment in general. And please make sure you do not extend the 15 minutes time limit. If you are going to f proceed question by question, but we'll stay here all the night. Well, I think I should focus on every piece of criticism to, so as to ensure mutual understanding. Well, as for the criticism by Mr. Vanin, as for uh, the fact that I do not distinguish correctly between internal creditors and founders, well, here I should say that I proceed from the fact that there is there is liability between the legal relations and therefore we can apply the this uh, paradigm of a creditor and a debtor well as for bankruptcy prevention measures here I would like to say that reorganization to be followed by acquisition is one of the comprehensive measures to prevent bankruptcy, which is stipulated in Chapter 3. And I explain why am I referring to these measures on page 151. So we believe that such a measure is favorable and is beneficial against other measures because it ensures that the liability of, a sol of an insolvent travel company are granted to a payable travel company. It is a newly established legal entity that emerged as a result of entity Ex justifies my interest. This tool is implemented only provided that other measures failed. Well, as for travel companies and the relations between travel company and a travel agent, I, here I provided my reply when I commented the question by Madam Makarova. Well, may I now proceed on to the criticism expressed by the mem members of the dissertation board? Mr. Gorodov, well, you mentioned that all the bankruptcy prevention measures are already there. Well, I should disagree. Starting from 2014, the market of tourist services was presented with an outflow of travel companies. The crisis was general, it was immense, but it were travel companies that suffered the most, both large travel companies and smaller ones. Here may I refer to the words of the press secretary of the Russian Union of Travel Industry, Irina Turina. She said that as a result of bankruptcy, of numerous bankruptcies of travel companies, over 130,000 Russian citizens suffered. More detailed information on some travel companies that suffered bankruptcy is presented in Appendix A. May I also note that it is impressive that such large-scope bankruptcy would re be re the result of unfair 
practices. I believe that it is law that was flawed. So thus, if we look at the numerous entities involved into the travel industry, well, those are indeed abundant tourists, customers, tourist agents, logistics companies, banks, insurance companies. The state economic policy as a whole, fiscal policies, as well as the staff, the employees. This is what relevance says. Well, as for relevance, I believe that it is not a matter of doubt. As for bankruptcy prevention, well, you said that it is a vague term and it can be applied to all sorts of organizations. But the objective of my research, as any other research, is to deepen any academic knowledge. Therefore, we can extrapolate the knowledge obtained within one discipline to a different discipline. So, in this respect, the opponent just did not take account of provision two of the PhD award procedure. I suggest to differentiate these categories across their legal contents and their objectives. And this is presented schematically on illustration one of the dissertation. What I proceeded with is the legal status of a tourist operator and the relation between the travel company and third parties. I also referred to my experience. On the basis of this concept, differentiation is a superstructure and it allows me to elaborate some extra instruments to enhance payability. As for the criticism presented by Olga Alexandrovna, Olga Makarova, um, as for bankruptcy prevention uh, in the uh, in the civil law, I don't um, I don't see um, any um, any controversy here because uh, many publications dealing with civil law, uh, including the textbooks by uh, Vladimir Belik. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, sections on uh, bankruptcy prevention are there, so it's part of the uh, uh, of the research field. Um, as for the structure, I um, cannot agree with my esteemed opponent. Uh, with my reviewer, uh, because I built the dissertation based on the uh, subject of. Uh, Business law uh, and uh, that business law regul uh, and the premise that it regulates uh, horizontal and vertical relations between entities and this is uh, something that this is the underlying principle of my dissertation. As for joint stock societies and uh, the critique by um, esteemed uh, Dr. Olga Makarova. Uh, with respect to um, authorized or nominal capital. So, uh, I suggest that the uh, procedure for the uh, establishment for the formation of authorized capital uh, has no impact on bankruptcy prevention. And this is highly relevant to the subject and object of my research. As for the general conclusions, I would like to uh, apologize to Dr. Popantopolo and um, 
and to Dr. Rikim Sada and to Dr. Kachiev. Santa won't be able to, uh, to uh, respond to their questions with respect to the tourism code. I, uh, what I would like to specify is that uh, the premise about the tourism code uh, has not been submitted for defense. This is just one of the um, opinions that was uh, articulated by the author in the context of the dissertation. Um, I don't even uh, make it, uh, I don't even suggest uh, introducing a tourism code uh, in uh, the uh, among the measures to improve re uh, Russian legislation. Um, it was mentioned that I failed to uh, reference several experts uh, in uh, the field of uh, bankruptcy prevention, including uh, Mr. Dr. Belik, Dr. Skvotsov, and a number of others. I would like to specify that these authors never specialized in bankruptcy prevention per se. My dissertation does not focus on bankruptcy. Uh, it's prevention that I um, focus on. So as far as the bankruptcy prevention is concerned, I don't go into too much detail here. And as far as the tourism code uh, is concerned, um, uh, Dr. Rahim Sada uh, um, doesn't doubt the qualification of the air code, or forest code, forestry code, or uh, the social code developers. Uh, social code was created in St. Petersburg. Uh, there is uh, a wide-scale debate about the social code of the Russian Federation, so I. Uh, don't really understand why the uh, the activities of tourism operators um, shouldn't be regulated and shouldn't be governed by a special uh, legal act so that their counterparties doesn't uh, don't suffer. Uh, it has been claimed that uh, some uh, premises suggested by the author have been uh, implemented. Uh, at the recent legal forum, uh, much was said about um, um, about construction uh, society members' bankruptcy. I would like to inform you that uh, um, in 2015, I wrote. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Anatoly. Your uh, your time this season is is over. Your time limit is over. Thank you for the most interesting replies. Thank you for the general comments. And now, uh, according to our agenda, according to the established agenda, uh, the uh, floor is provided to uh, some members of the audience who, uh, however, are not members of the dissertation councils. Would anyone like to take the floor? After no more questions, I would like to uh, specify that there is no necess necessity to take their questions. So, um, uh, Mr. Guriev, you may now take the floor. Um, I would like to, give the, f uh, to uh, uh, give the floor now to the scientific advisor of uh, um, Anatoly Guriev. Microphone. Sorry, the microphone is out of order. On the whole, uh, during his postgraduate course, the researcher has could be assessed as uh, achieving a number of positive results. So, dear members of the dissertation council, uh, it's uh, a very rare phenomenon that. Um, the uh, defendant of a dissertation has 25 publications. He has a monograph uh, published in a very serious uh, publishing house. Uh, he took part in seven uh, international conferences in different um, cities across Russia. On the whole, uh, his dissertation uh, his dissertation is based on a number of uh, uh, sources and uh, on uh, um, a lot of um, uh, practical cases. Uh, he uh, clearly outlined the legal mechanism of uh, bankruptcy prevention. Uh, 
dear chairperson, dear members of the uh, council, the procedure of awarding PhD degrees and scientific degrees uh, is um, fairly um, uh, fa uh, uh, is fairly individual uh, because the uh, members of the scientific communities decide whether or not to accept the uh, author of the dissertation. Society uh, vests you with um, major responsibility for this decision. This procedure is regulated by law and it has a legal framework as um, uh, Oleg has mentioned here. According to the uh, act of the government, uh, the uh, clauses of uh, 9 uh, uh, and 10 uh, specifies that the dissertation uh, must uh, resolve an important uh, issue uh, that is highly relevant to a specific field of knowledge. The dissertation must be independently uh, written and contain new scientific results and uh, uh, express the uh, author's personal contribution to science. The key results must be published in uh, peer-reviewed sources, in peer-reviewed publications. Everything we have heard here today, dear members of the Dissertation Council, confirms that, uh, the, uh, that the work presented to your attention complies with all these requirements. So um, I would like to uh, request you to award the PhD degree to um, Anatoly Guryev, who uh, deserves this honor and who is ready to um, enter the uh, legal research community uh, in the PhD status. Thank you very much. Uh, take a seat. According to our agenda, uh, we will now uh, we will now uh, cause a five-minute break. So, uh, all non-members of the dissertation council uh, are requested to uh, leave the um, the assembly room. Uh, I would like the broadcasting to be uh, to be uh, temporarily interrupted now. Thank you. Итак, ставлю вопрос о присуждении ученой степени на открытое поименное голосование. Напоминаю, что решение Дистанционного Совета по вопросу присуждения ученой степени считается положительным, если за него проголосовало более половины, но не менее трех членов диссертационного совета, участвующих в заседании. 
согласно пункту 23 порядка присуждения ученых степеней. Итак, начинаем голосование. Ольга Александровна. Против присуждения ученой степени. Я лично против присуждения ученой степени. Владимир Федорович. Против присуждения ученой степени. Так, и у нас остался Махман Забир. Вы за присуждение, я так понимаю. За присуждение ученой степени. Спасибо. Итак, результаты голосования диссертационным Гадиса советом. Да, у Гадиса Габдулаевича отрицательная рецензия, он тоже против. Таким образом, против у нас четыре члена диссертационного совета из состава и один за. Вот такие результаты. То есть решение... So we have, um, uh, we have four votes in favor. Uh, we have, sorry, uh, four votes um, that are negative and uh, one vote in favor. So the award hereby is not granted. Uh, the uh, defender uh, now has, um, has the floor. Uh, dear chairperson, dear members of the dissertation council, I would like to thank you for your time. For the, uh, spend uh, reading my work and uh, creating um, your reviews. I would like to give my special um, thanks to my external reviews uh, for uh, uh, deeming this uh, work a qualifying work. Um, dear Mahmoud Zabir, I would like to address you and thank you for the positive response for the detailed um, analysis of my dissertation. When I was reading your um, review, it was, um, I was highly pleased that you uh, so deeply understood uh, the problem and the message that I wanted to convey to the wider public. Thank you for being present here. I would like to thank the scientific, my scientific advisor, Alexander Goncharov. Uh, thank you for, um, you taught me a lot. Uh, it is uh, because uh, if I am here today, I owe it to you, and I hope that we will uh, continue our work in the future. I would like to thank the Department of uh, Civil Law, uh, of my uh, institution, RANEPA, and I would like to thank uh, uh, my mother, who is present here, for uh, providing a source of constant support to me, uh, uh, and I hope that she will con uh, continue to do so. It was a great honor for me to present my dissertation here today. Um, thank you very much. I would like to uh, mention that it isn't your last chance. You can submit your dissertation. Uh, to uh, our dissertation council a year from now, having introduced some amendments and improvements, maybe uh, having uh, also changed the title and uh, incorporated um, all the uh, critique uh, that was articulated by members of the dissertation council. Are there any um, questions in terms of the procedure? Um, if not, I would like to declare the session of the Dissertation Council closed. Thank you for your attention.